been announced as a as a result of the Ukraine war and other uh, disagreements that Russia and China are now uh, moving to trade completely in their currency, no longer using the dollar. And uh, uh, Pakistan has flown in to meet with Russia. There's some talk that they may be part of it. Uh, what effect would that have on the U.S. economy if China and Russia no longer use the dollar in certain block trades around the world and with each other? What effect, if any, would it have on our economy? Well, we do benefit from being the reserve currency for um, the main reserve currency for the world. And that really is because we have open capital accounts and the rule of law. And uh, we have inflation, you know, over a long period of time uh, under control so that the, the dollar preserve, cons- you know, preserves its value. And so our markets are the most liquid and it's the place where people want to be. Over time, um, uh, the question is, if, if some want to move away from the dollar, what will be the effect on us? I don't think it's something you would feel right away. Over time, uh, they would have to create an e- e- ecosystem, economic ecosystem, whereby another currency becomes uh, uh, you know, a, better, a better currency for them to use. Um, you know, what we can do is we can make the dollar the most attractive currency by continuing to have the rule of law. And, and open capital accounts and, and make it an attractive place for people to invest and to use in their businesses. There, there wouldn't be any short-term effect of that over time, though. Um, you know, it would, it would, uh, it would, I suppose it would diminish our, our, our status as the reserve currency. It's also possible to have more than one large reserve currency. And uh, there are, um, uh, there have been times when that was the case. Uh, and so it's not really clear. Welcome back to the show, people. Crash and Eddie. I'm Crash. I mean, I'm, uh, we got to we got to redo the beat. Yeah. Welcome back to Crash and Eddie. I'm Eddie. It is March seventh, and this show is going to be about primarily gala games. And our friend, Mr. Powell, a little bit. We had to hear from him a little bit. We love him so much. But we're going to talk a little bit about updates on Gala Music, Mirandas, Townstar. We're going to get into. Um, And we do have Crash with us today. What's going on, Crash? Hey, Eddie. Glad to be back. Um, I'm spending quite a bit of time on on gala games and uh before talking talking all about it. yeah so um we're gonna get into gala a little bit we'll, we're gonna eventually crash is gonna show us one of his game boards hopefully today we're gonna look at Skirch's game board so we'll take a look at that um but this is their uh, inventory page for Gala. So once you open up an account, you have a wallet, right, Crash? And yeah. mm-hmm. this is basically the wallet. So you have Townstar. You have um, Eth- you have any if you have any Ethereum in there. Materium is brand new. That's was supposed to come out last month, but it's now coming out in the next, I don't know, it sounds like maybe in March. Um, and they do ex- accept basic attention token. You got Gala. Um, so this is where all your new coins are going to be as they come out. Um, and then here's your NFT space, whether you have, you know, Townstar, uh Mirandus, whatever you have for the games. Um, so here's, let's take a look at the town star for us. We have these NFTs that you put in game and then these earn you crypto rewards as long as you complete the task for the day, which is changing a lot too. How do you like the changes with the, um, with the task? With the star um, system you know, crash. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's progressively more difficult to to uh, complete the task as a month goes by. But 
it also um, forces you to improve your 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 lot um, and uh, do some pre-planning and, and load up your your storage uh, before the uh, uh, time where you have to do the activity. So it's it's all good. It's uh, it's also um, meant to uh, make it easier and more fair for the smaller players and uh, to limit some of the rewards for the big players. So, right. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's take a look really quick at the token for a second. Talk about that for a minute. Uh, so, check one, two. Is that better? Yep, sounds yeah. good. So we're back. And so this is so quick market update. Bitcoin's at 37.6. We got a lot of stuff going on globally. Um, I think we're going through the transition right now into this is quickly turning into a currency war, I think, from what it seems. Um so which means that we're moving over to the new financial system that we've been talking about for years so that's coming pretty quick i think we'll see what are your thoughts on that so, crash are you seeing what i'm seeing well eddie my, my question is, is is this when you say uh currency war is this a transfer of uh the uh reserve currency the u.s dollar to something else or is this uh, moving to a new system that's going to maintain the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency. Well, and remember, people, no financial advice on this channel. This is just our own opinions and thoughts on this and stuff that we we want to point you to to do your own research because we think it might be something that's worth your time. So um, my thoughts on that are that, and this is why I put the Powell clip that I did because they're now coming out and saying that, you know, it's possible to have more than one reserve currency. And it's true. And I think <laughs> the, the new reserve yeah. is is crypto and, and all the CBDCs. People are going to have their own, countries are going to have their own sovereign currencies. You know, this is my take on it. And I yeah, think, well, they've talked about this for 10 years with the SCR. Yeah. Uh, Right. And I think the SCR is just going to be a basket of different uh, CBDC uh, tokens for from different different countries. Probably. Yeah. So, um, so this is really they, they this this is nothing new. This has been coming down the pike for decades. And uh, it's just a matter of them trying to figure out how to implement it. Yeah, yep, and you got to turn the system on. There has to be chaos, which there is now. You know, these sanctions are absolutely creating chaos in the whole system. And mm -hmm. and it, it really, we you guys have heard a lot about sanctions throughout, you know, our lifetime, but it's never been a G20 country that's been sanctioned. That was brought to my attention this week, and it's true. Really, I mean, there have been countries sanctioned, but not a big country like Russia. So, yeah. you know, and China has come out now and absolutely said they're not going against China. They don't think that the sanctions are fair and they're not going against Russia. So you have currency wars. Basically, that's yep. what this is coming to. And gold is, is going to come into play. You're seeing commodities, you know, it's. You know, and Russia has a lot of oil and a lot of gold and a lot of vodka. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you know, and really what we need to do is frame this in the, the simplest terms, which is this is the uh, eastern banking cartels versus the uh, western banking cartels. And when you say it's a currency war, that's, that's, it's a war between those two factions. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yep, and and they've basically said, now we're not going to be on the SWIFT system. So, and that is the Western, like you said, that's the Western mm -hmm. side of it. So, mm -hmm. um, and who, what, what, what's going to fill the gap? You know, in the meantime, or maybe permanently, could be uh, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Yeah, because there's yep. going to be a, there's going to be a, there's going to be a gap. There's going to be a need for asset transfer, and uh, you know. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. This is uh, 
this is very interesting what's going on yeah this is we've never seen anything like this so it's very fascinating it's interesting in crypto now you have this three stable coins all bunched up three four and five in market cap um mm -hmm. it, it, you got bitcoin number one ethereum then the three stable coins and then xrp and you go down the line so um we'll see where this shakes out but to me it feels like stuff's quickly changing and we're moving into place and what are they going to need they're going to need liquidity and although crypto is illiquid now it has a chance to be liquefied really quick by money moving into it so mm -hmm. so i think mm -hmm. that's where all this is going but so yeah so let's take a look at town coin we were looking at for just a second so this is what you're playing for when you play town star it's about nine a little over nine cents um it's come back it's been over two mm -hmm. bucks it's only been around for three four months so um and there it's all-time high is three three dollars and 36 cents so it, it's had uh um, and i think that's why they correct me if i'm wrong but i think part of the reason they have made the act, daily activities progressively more difficult is to uh, make it less uh, uh, enticing for people to just the, the big whales to just get their town coin each night and then sell it on the market. Yeah, yeah, it's there. You know, it's interesting. They're they're trying to do they're trying to do what any good economy does, and that's create a middle class, right? Where you have people right. that are kind of you want to expand everything. And have your your middle class right now. They have a lot of of whales that control a lot of the coin, and they get a lot for playing the game. So they're trying mm -hmm. to kind of tweak that a little bit so that it's a little more fair for the people that are just getting going because they want people to. Well, to... I mean, I don't. I'm not sure how they're going to do that because the, the you know people can't afford a hundred thousand dollar NFT. Right, you know, to 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 put into a game, uh, you know, most people their their spouse would wring their neck. <laughs> it's it is some of these NFTs. It's nuts, man. It's absolutely nuts. But I, you know, you see what's going on with the NFT space now. I've heard that it's down like eighty percent in the last like two three weeks. So that has not happened in Townstar, and it hasn't really mm -hmm. happened in. You know, I think use case NFTs as much, I want to mm -hmm. say. So it's very, these times are really telling, and I think they're going to show a lot what's going on with the whole space. And it's also interesting what's going on with crypto. I mean, you see, it's not a, necessarily a hedge to everything, but it is definitely a different asset class because... You can tell that, you know, it like today the markets are tanking. It's it's not up, but it's a lot more stable than the markets. So, well, yeah, and, and you know the 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 other you know the framework again that we got to keep this in is that cryptocurrency is still in its infancy. The adoption yeah. rate is is tiny compared to other asset classes. Yeah, right. but the the slope is is gradually getting steeper and steeper uh, as far as the adoption. And it was very interesting that it came out uh, earlier, well, late last week, that um, new cryptocurrency account owners are being dominated now by women. Really? The pri yep, the primary uh, openers of, of cryptocurrency accounts and wallets right now are women. That makes sense. I mean, in our space, you know, you look at the 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 biggest shoppers online and really who runs the money online it's women it's not men it's women mm -hmm. so yep mm -hmm. and, and you know what they're scared by some of the stuff they see and they they're, they're looking for uh, uh ways of protecting their assets and their family's assets you know it's just, right it's about protection you know? now and you see what's happened with the market say now crypto's kind of starting to tank a little bit we got a we're, our market caps 1.68 trillion so it's mm -hmm. it's coming back a little bit you'd expect that there's going to be liquidation now to cover losses in the market you know mm -hmm. 
Um, so, okay. So, so that I, was the power coin. Yeah, so that's what you're playing for. And you kind of have to, as far as buying NFTs and all that stuff, you know, it's a it's a game and you got to kind of figure out, okay, when's the best time to buy or sell stuff. And it's, it's pretty sophisticated mm-hmm. dealing with all this and kind of trying to work out what's, what's optimal, you know? Yeah. Have you used Mr. Puddles yet? Oh yeah. Every day. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go in. You want to go into the game here? We'll take a look here. I do. You have some stuff that I'm not familiar with. I'd like to, yeah, miss... I, I have like a I have a crane and a a farm bot, but I don't I don't even think I can use them yet. I have that in my inventory too. You have to actually build those where you have to get. That's like the base thing, I think. But you have to get the parts for it. And yeah. I, and like if you would buy that, I think the farm bot or the crane, they're like fifteen twenty thousand. But I think a lot of people get the individual. I don't know how many people really do it or use it or whatever, but I never have. Um, I don't know. I own uh, one of uh, two of them, and I don't know what they're worth now. I gotta. I should look back at that. So we're loading so up now. It's going to take a yeah. little bit because we're streaming and loading a game at the same time. So it'll be a little bit, but um, should be able to get it in a couple minutes here. Um, so some news on, uh, Mirandus, which is, it looks like that's going to come out later this year, possibly. Um, there's going to okay, be tell like, what, what is, what is Mirandus? Oh, uh, you can't jump out of that now, but Mirandus is what, uh, it, it, it's a game that the, the infrastructure is similar to Townstar, right? Where you're building a, a an economy. And you, you have farms and different things you you got to maintain and, and keep crops and and yeah, it's, it's more kind of a, a simulation. It's more of a um, it, fantasy kind of world that yeah. you that you live in. So you're walking around in it, and their main currency yeah, is going to be materium. That's the one that mm-hmm. I showed you is coming out like soon and they did actually release something there's a couple exchanges that are looking at making it their some kind of special currency for them i think there's probably smaller exchanges Mm -hmm. but that's why they Mm -hmm. didn't release it yet because they want to get the exchanges in place first um yeah but one thing i heard is that they're actually it's going to be a multi-currency game so there's going to be that's going to be kind of their special currency but they're also going to have something akin to like gold, silver, and bronze or something. That are mm. so it's going to be multi tokens, I guess that that game, which will be mm. that'll be a little different. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a lot. But. Yeah, I mean the video, the, the the videos I've seen, and, and then when we went in to try to get the Mirandas or the uh, Materium, um, it's it's really cool. It's really cool and beautifully done game. It's, I'm kind of excited for that to come out. Yeah. Now, if you guys want to play that, you can get deals on stuff now because the game's not out. You can get some pretty significant deals on OpenSea on some of the uh, Miranda stuff. What? When we don't look at this game, we'll take a little deeper dive into that and look at some um cuz that would be interesting that that game is going to be there's going to be a lot of different ways to play to earn that game too um i've i've heard mm-hmm. some really interesting strategies i mean you can you can host a you can host a like a hotel you can have a a temple <laughs> you can Sh- you, yeah, you have ships yeah you, you can big, big big sailing ships and it's all uh in the time frame of like the medieval times right right yeah right right yeah, yeah so, so there's no guns it's all uh it's all swords and bows and arrows and stuff like that yeah Knives. so so crash and i we went heavy on the exemplars so we have some of those um and those are just characters right yeah, those are the, your fir- first 50,000 um, citizens, I guess, are going to be exemplars. And they all have, like, special special attributes. 
So so we got some of those town stars loading <clears throat> up here. Um, okay, so. All right. So there's 28 <laughs> days left. Ooh, let me turn my. <laughs> Your sound effects down? <laughs> yeah, let me do that. Okay. Um, so every day this this game closes at 6 o'clock, right, Chris? All right, you got to turn down your special effects. They're still jamming here. Oh, you know what? Go to settings. Yeah. Up by your character. I, hold on a second here. Go settings and then advanced. Down at the, down at the bottom where it says advanced. Yeah, wait though, because I gotta. When I turn down, I turn you down too. So hold on a second. Oh shoot. Yeah, I mean. Oh, yeah, no. that's why you needed to do it on the pool. Uh, <laughs> it's tricky to stream and do a game at once, man. I will say. Uh huh. Oh, now I can't do this. Oh. Did you pause? You know Fresh. what? Yeah, let me do that. Okay, we're back. Hey, did, I got a question for you, Eddie. Is that, uh, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, uh, the Snoop Dogg trophy NFT music thing that you have in here. What's this that called? One? Oh, that, what's that called? Death Row Records. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does that thing play any music? No, not that I've seen. No, it just gives water and it just looks sweet. Yeah, I bought one of those and I've been using I just Today's the first day I'll be collecting on it. Yeah, now this one <clears> pays <throat> five a day, right? Mm -hmm. um, not, a, not a bad value. Um, this one plays music. Yeah. Um, let's give him a little taste yeah. of that real quick. Since well, we you just got to gotta zoom in on it. I think it'll come up. Yeah, but I have to if have you sound just zoom effects in on. on. So that That's plays a few different too, tunes, and then it pays water too. It gives gives yeah. water, and that one pays three, right, Crash? Uh, correct. I believe, yeah. So I'm just going through my NFTs. You, you do you have this water one? We picked up this little water thing. That's oh, uh, the water tank. Yeah, I got yeah. Three of those. I got three of those. I use. No, so you got a bigger water tank there too. Yeah, those pay three. I think this one. Pays eleven. No, I think the water tank only pays like one. This one? The big, yeah, the little one. Oh, okay. So this this is a good point. Now, for anybody who wants to play this game, you got to go to um, a website called LearnTownStar.com. No, the water okay. tank plays three. Just for the record. It does. Okay. Yeah. This one pays like okay. eleven. Okay, so go but, ahead, Crash. So you were saying? Yeah. So this 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 website it's called uh, Learn. You, you know, you just type in Learn Town Star. That's one word. LearnTownStar.com, and it gives you all the guides, everything you need to know. Uh, anytime I'm playing, I have this also pulled up. So uh, any any what anything I'm trying to improve upon, um, or or make more efficient in my. Uh, my farm, I can look at the data and, and figure out how to do it the best way through here. And they have, you know, <clears throat> they have a building guide, they got a beginner's guide, they have a guide on making gas, they got production guides, they got news, they got NFTs it talks about. So I can pull up and I can look at all these, um, these NFTs. And uh, if I scroll down to about where some of these are, um, yeah, like the turntable is three points. Um, the Express Depot, which are the trucks. Show them the trucks that you got. 
I just have one of these bad boys, but this is the Express Depot. Mm-hmm. So that's an NFT, you know, so you blow up the original truck that they give you there and you uh, drop that one in there and it's faster. Right, it's faster and I have both original. going, actually. I put, uh, yeah, I have. I left the other one in. I'm going with the dually, which I've never done, but it kind oh. of, there's times when it yeah. works out. Yeah, I have I have two of the Express right next to each other, and I just bounce them back and forth. Oh, that's okay. It, so the Express about that though, just so you guys know that when you get get a um, Gala Gold membership for a one time fee, the which I think it's fifty or seventy five bucks or something, you get the Express Depot as as a kicker too, and that sells yeah, for about yeah. fifty or to a hundred on OpenSea. It pays one a day, one town coin a day. Yeah. Yep. 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 So excellent. Yeah, and the the trick with this is you got to get to making gas. Um, here's here's my little gas thing. One of these is petroleum. One's gas. That one's petroleum. But once you get to doing that, then you're kind of self sufficient, where you can um, make runs to sell stuff. Before you you get forty, I think, up front, and then and then yeah, you so you get, get 40, 40 gas, gas to get started, and you have to create your, you know, you have to sell enough uh, farm materials to build up your inventory so you can pay for a refinery and a, a water treatment plant and all that other stuff. Now, you just have one refinery? Yeah, I just have the, the petroleum and the gas. Yeah. Oh, for water you talking about? No, no, for to yeah. make gas. So, yeah. so you have two refineries there. Yeah, two yeah, refineries. One, one makes petroleum. One you need petroleum to make gas. Yeah. Now, you don't. You don't. I don't you don't have a water uh, a pond feeding that to cool them, do you? No. I didn't know you had to oh. do that. Yeah, it'd be way, it's a hundred times more. You don't need any water tanks to when you got it connected to a, a pond. Oh, then you don't have to run. See, yeah, I'm running water. Okay. Like crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're probably making, you got your water guys going nuts. I don't, I don't even have water guys. Oh, because you have a pond next to it, huh? Yeah, yeah. So there's the, the, well, there's the refinery, and then you have a water treatment plant, which is like $50,000. And then you got a pond that's $20,000. But you don't have to do any water after that. That's interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so just so you guys know, there's a million different ways you can do this. This particular build is mine, and I started out doing flour first, and now mm-hmm. I'm moving into, eventually it'll be just grapes. So, mm-hmm. so that's what I'm doing. We'll take a look at Crashes. He's got a completely different angle he's doing, and it's unlimited, yeah, like, the different things you can make. I mean, it's virtually yeah. infinite. It's, it's- yeah, that's crazy. So I, I always start out with, I don't know, I did this, this the very first time. I started out with peppermint fields. And so I'm really good I, when I'm, I'm starting my game. I just lay out all these peppermint fields. And, um, you know, I need lumberjacks and farmers and um, a lot of wells to keep them watered and things like that. And I use that to build up my inventory and my, my money so I can start doing the refineries. Now, on my on my uh, my field right now, I have one, two, three, four refineries. And I have, in the middle of those refineries, I have a power plant. And what the power plant does is it supplies passive power to... Um, to my refinery, so I don't need so many batteries to, okay. to produce things. Okay, right. so uh, and the and the power plant runs on crude oil, just like your petroleum refinery does. So you know it's really easy to set up wells, uh, oil wells, and just let those run. They fill up, and you know, right now. I'm, I'm I'm really cranking it out right now. I mean, I I, I have enough storage, uh, fuel storage, and enough silos for my mint that, you know, I think I can probably have close to 150 or 200 thousand uh, dollars that I'll need to sell when I when the six o'clock mark runs around. And I want to collect my tokens. 
Um, but I've put a lot of time into it as well. So You've learned quite uh, a bit, too. you got some different angles down. I, I, I take a pretty yeah. simplistic approach, which well, is probably cost tried to get time. A little, yeah, I, t- I tried to take a little more. I tried to do something new. I tried to do uh, a lumber, two lumber mills and try to create enough uh, bundles of lumber to create income. And it just didn't work. I, I ended up blowing them up and because I needed water for them all the time, and it was just like, it was a nightmare. And I, I couldn't get ahead money-wise. It was costing me more than it was I could produce. So I ended up blowing those up and going all, putting all my mint fields back in after I had completely gotten rid of all my mint fields and planted, planted all um, trees right. to, to feed my lumber mill. And I had so, to transition all this back, and now my, the money's just flowing in again. So it's just, you just kind of, it's just trial and error, and you, you know, you, you try different things, and you know, some of it works, and some of it doesn't. Yeah, or you can, I mean, you get, we'll drop a link for that website too, because that is a, that's mm-hmm. an amazing resource. So you can learn fast through that. You can go on oh, Discord yeah. too, you can see some stuff. Let's talk about money real quick so they know. So you have your money here that you have to produce by selling stuff, okay? Yeah, and then yeah, this is, so, yeah, yeah, go ahead. This is how much you're burning per hour. Okay. To pay your to pay your employees, basically. Yep. To pay all your workers. Yeah. So, and then this over here is what you're playing for. So, so, so basically, for yesterday's build and today, which ends in a couple hours, you had to come up with seventeen fifty points. Okay. I did mm-hmm. seventeen sixty. So then you earn your town coin for the day, which in my case, and that's from putting your NFTs out. If you don't have your NFTs out, you don't get paid. So, right. um, so yeah, that's that's how the money thing kind of works. You you have to manage this right. too, though, to get to the other thing. So yeah, so if you yeah if you if you run out of money, it, that's uh, what nine uh, nine hundred and ten dollars per per minute. Yeah. So that's it's coming off of your balance. Mine's at sixteen sixteen fifty a minute. Because I have, oh, I have very expensive employees running my refineries, and the most expensive one is the uh, one running the uh, power plant at three hundred dollars a minute. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. So you just have to make however, sure you're cranking out more, you know. Yeah. However, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm producing jet fuel, which is getting me, you know, every load I send out is uh, every every ten jet fuels I produce, I'm getting. Uh, uh, $21,000. Right. Or $19,000. Right. So this is the little water bot that this one has. You know, he went in there to, to rest because basically once oh, water good. comes up, he goes to get it, and then he'll water what needs to be watered. And he just moves around the field faster than a farmer? Is that the deal? Yeah, yeah, for sure, and he only does water. You know, farmers will do whatever. Wheat, they'll do all, all right. different, different things. This will just Yeah, I've stuff. gotten really good at really good at the water, too. I mean, I can see you have a lot of your fields around your ponds and your um, marshes, which are creating paths of water for your fields. Right, um, yeah. Uh, you know, the other thing, you know, that I've really gotten in tune with is uh, pollution and, uh, you know, shade and wind. So, you know, I, I realized that all my crops that were close to my silos were producing much slower because of the shade and wind that they produce. Um, right. So this is kind of an intro to town star. We'll, we'll look at, um, this is kind of just a basic one, but we'll look at, um, some different stuff. Crass, we got to look at yours next if we can. Yeah, I'll just uh, have you pull it up and we, when that we do would the be, next one. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool Cool to see. Oh, one other thing I want to do. Okay, so here's all the different ways that you can make money here. You can, you can go to, like, all the stuff Crash was talking about. Of course, some of mine... Actually, let me well, see. yeah, they yeah. So when you click on a square, it'll 
and then you go to um, go to this. It'll, it, it'll it'll highlight the things that you can put on that square. And you know, so some of them have to be on a road. Some of them have to be on a paved road. Um, some and of them you have, have to have be, enough money to get them, or it won't highlight it too. Like this two yeah, million one, right? Because I only have fourteen in there to to buy it. Yeah. So, so if you go down for oh right right there to the to the left. Nope. No, go back. Yes, down, down, down. Right. Yeah, water pump. That's what you need to attach to a. You have a. So you have a pond, the water pump, and then your refinery. Mm, okay. Same thing with same thing with the uh, power plant. So this replaces needing the barrels of water. Yes. For fifty grand, that's probably worth it, huh? Well, you know, I don't know how much your water guy costs. I think they're only twenty or thirty bucks an hour. It's more maybe. time. It's more the time to do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, I, I can produce a lot more because as soon as soon as uh, they pull out uh, uh, with whatever was just made out of the refinery, you know, automatically my my water is filled and my power is filled. All I need is the either petroleum or or crude oil for my ref for my refineries to, to operate. Good stuff. Okay, so that's interesting. I got to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. That will be efficient. Okay. So, so yeah, here's all the stuff. Here's your terrain if you want to do you know to get a pond or the roads or mm -hmm. whatever. Ranch if you want to get into like ranching, you can get into chickens mm -hmm. or. You know, yep. milk, I, Yeah, I haven't done any of that stuff. I want to try something. To, I think I might set up a second account just to try to do some trial and error stuff. Right, and then here's your, your farming stuff if you want trees or, you know, yeah. different crops or grapes or wheat or whatever, sugar cane, mint, salt, you know, any of that stuff's going to be in your farm section. So. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of the basics of that. So... Why are we talking about this stupid game, Crash? What's the point of this, really? Well, because we're collecting tokens that are worth about 22 cents right now, I believe, right? Or 9 cents, right? Right. And they're all the all-time high just a few months ago was $3.39. So you do the math. Um, you know, all, I think the demand for these coins and the the market and the explosion and adoption rate of these this game and the other ones are going to be uh, could be beneficial. Yeah, and you know when you look at kind of where everything is going, you look at okay, this is what's called a play to earn game. So where is this stuff going? And you know, you and I, and I am actually doing it for my company, are getting into kind of a little area of play to earn. We're just using the Gala ecosystem because it's the best one that we've found. So Yeah. Yeah, and we're buying NFTs that also will, you know, hopefully uh, increase in value. Yeah, and there's a marketplace for them. You can resell these. Um, typically they've gone up or stayed the same. I haven't really seen any that have just tanked. They're not worth anything. And the reason that is, is because they generate tokens. So you yeah, and, see... and the adoption rate is just, uh, exploding. Yeah. So there's more and more people out there looking for them and trying to, you know, there's, there's a lot, a lot of people in, in third world countries that, you know, they, you know, they don't have opportunities to hardly even work or make money. And they can right. play these games and uh, um, make money, uh, make yeah, a living. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a yeah. I told a video of a of a guy in like the Philippines. It was the first time that he had bought a new refrigerator, and he did it all through Townstar. And these people are actually sustaining life for families through playing different play to earn. So um, it's it's a new world, and there's you have these networks that you can have work for you or you can work for them. I mean, the trick is to to get them to work for you. Um, mm -hmm. But it's... Hey, on, an you, on, an, on an interesting note here, I just got a notification that the Virginia Senate passes bill allowing state banks to offer Bitcoin custody services. 
There you go. The, the whole state, state of Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. That's, that's Washington, Washington D.C., D.C., baby. Yeah, and that's going to spread to, you know, all the cryptos. They're not only going to limit it to uh-huh. to Bitcoin. Eventually it'll be it'll be other ones, but yeah. Yeah, it's a, it, the world's changing, and we're just kind of introducing you to a side that um, you might want to look into, you know? No financial yeah, I, advice. I, I, right. right, and, and it's, it's fun. fun. I, I really yeah, enjoy the time I spend doing, doing it. it. Sometimes, Sometimes it's a little frustrating, frustrating but when, when I tried, I tried to, to do those lumber mills, I was, I was ready to pull my hair out. <laughs> yeah, they, they make it so that you have to actually think about this stuff. And you can oh, research yeah. it, but there's no, like, instruction. They don't put, okay, here are the rules of the game. They don't do that. It's, in, mm-hmm. it's, it's intentionally designed so that you have to put some intellectual thought into it, you know, put, put a yeah, thought yeah. process into it and strategize. It's game theory, you know. Yeah, and I mean, I, you know, I think I brought this up before. You know, I have kids, they play with the Oculus and the Xbox and stuff like that. And I really want to, I'm trying to teach them this play to earn stuff because A, they're really cool games. And B, it's, they have to use their mind more than just reacting to stuff. They have to, there's a lot of calculating and, and a lot of uh, real world scenarios that, that, they're, that they can learn from, as well as, is, you know, earning and learning about cryptocurrencies and a whole new ecosystem. Right. Um, so. Yeah. So, so basically, so we're, I wanted to get into a little bit more Miranda's and stuff, but we'll, we'll hit that on another show. You guys, we're going to do, we'll, we'll get into this, this play to earn stuff and DeFi and NFTs. Um, mm-hmm. But we'll, we'll hit this stuff once in a while, and then we'll give you we'll give you updates on the most important stuff in the marketplace. We're not hitting all the news. That's not really our goal. Um, our goal is just to hit you with the most important, timely stuff that that you need to know so that you can function in this new new financial era that's coming about us. Yeah, and share, and share what, what, what we're learning and, and why we're learning it and what the benefits and uh, costs and other things might be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so, Crash, should we wrap this up for this one? Yes, yes sir. sir. Everybody, Everybody enjoy, enjoy your day, day and live in the present. God, God bless, bless you. you. Yep. Um, have a great rest of the week. We'll try and hit you later on in the week with some stuff. Um, but uh, definitely have a good rest of the week. Do the right thing, and we'll talk to you real soon. Over now. Crash. Dude. 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 What up? You're you're going to have to do some some serious serious editing editing on that one. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) But you know what? We we did something new, and we figured out how to do it, and it works, and we'll know how to do it next time. Yeah. Well, the people like our technical difficulties, I've learned. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we get so so many comments about the... So, hey, are you ready for the Bitcoin convention? Are we, are we, are we, did you, did you shut her down? No, not yet. I'm going to though right now. All right. We're done, yeah. people. It's enough talk on that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so am I ready? Yeah, I'm yeah, going. going. I don't know, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't